This morning, proactive advanced safety services gave Western Mass News an exclusive look inside one of their active shooter trainings. Caroline Powers has a story. We want it to be scary, but we want them to learn. Dozens of people gathered in Springfield Saturday morning, training for the worst. What we're doing here today is empowering people. What's unique about Trinity is we have three phases that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a place of employment, a place of worship, and a school. So the training here is a little dynamic compared to just dealing with one. Protective Advanced Safety Services, or PASS, puts on active shooter trainings. Saturday's location, Trinity Methodist Church, school and offices in Springfield. We're trying to do everything we can to make sure kids are safe at all times. Back when I started this in teaching in 1988, all we had to really worry about was fire drills. Um, and now, 30 years flash forward, we're worrying about active shooters. Again, the risks are very low, but why not be prepared? Co-founders John and Steve tell Western Mass News it's important to make the training reality-based. Very loud, um, kind of shaken a little bit. We showed them some, um, some active shootings that occurred around the country in schools and churches. We taught them how to manage that type of anxiety, and we also taught them run, hide, fight. Um, we're about to go a little bit further and um, teach them some strategies on uh, open hand techniques um, with a firearm. In Springfield, Caroline Powers, Western Mass News.